Is that your daddy? You don't always have to baby proof if you don't want to. Good morning everyone. It is Sunday today. It is currently 10.45 which means it's the middle of the day. We literally haven't done anything. We've had breakfast. We've watched the Wiggles, we've had a little play, we've got dressed, we've put our makeup on and now we are going out for a little while before Frederick has his nap for the day. Today we're going on a little adventure down to a place called the Salt Lakes. Now I've drove past this a million gazillion times before but I've never actually gone into the Salt Lake and actually walked around. So Frederick is ready, he's down there ready to go and yeah we're heading off to the Salt Lakes. I'm going to try and take some photos of Frederick while we're there because I saw someone take some photos there the other day and they looked absolutely stunning so I'm going to try my best and take some photos of Frederick walking around on the Salt Lake. Frederick is an over keen baby and um, is really wanting to go so I just need to grab my drink that I made and we can head off. We're going, Papa. Yeah. Come on, Papa, in the car. Of course, you go down here. That's all he ever does, guys, when he comes outside, is come down this way. Come on, Freddy, we're going. Oh. Say, see you at the Salt Lake. <laughs> see you at the Salt Lake. Well, we can't leave the keys or my drink on top of the car. So keys will go in the ignition and car, car, <laughs> drink will come with me and sit in the middle console, even though it doesn't fit. So I guess we'll see you guys when we get to the Salt Lake. <laughs> Keeps on looking at my pocket because he can see his snacks and he wants more. Baba, you've got snacks in your hand. I'll give you another one. I don't know if you can see them, people, guys, but there is two people walking our way. We're not alone. <laughs> so we're back in the car and it is quarter to twelve now. Frederick is crying because he's getting tired now, so we're going to head home and hopefully. By the time we get home, Frederick's asleep. We're home guys, and we've been home for quite some time. It is now two o'clock, and when we got home, it was like, I don't know, 12-ish. Um, I'm just about to give Jason a call, and we're gonna FaceTime with him today because we haven't seen him, like his face, in a couple of days. So we're gonna FaceTime with him before he has to go to the gym and go work out. Is that daddy? Is that your daddy? He's probably gonna hang up. <laughs> That's so cute, Freddy. Is that your daddy? Is that your daddy? <laughs> so we just we just finished talking to Jason on FaceTime. It was really nice to chat with him. We're chatting for like over an hour, Frederick, almost. Almost an hour, guys. Um, but it was really nice to 
have a nice long chat with Jason. He's only a couple of days away until he comes home. But Frederick is yeah, just... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Daddy's coming home soon. Frederick is just yeah, yeah, yeah. snacking on um, some bread. He's snacking on some bread with peanut butter on it. Because, um, yeah, he's a little bit snacky and apparently he wants bread. Yeah. <laughs> You have to eat with your mouth closed, darling. <laughs> but after he finishes that, um, we're going to go outside for a tiny bit to have a little play. And then we are going to cook tea, which I got out earlier. So we're having fish tonight with some veggies. So I'm actually quite excited to have fish because we haven't actually had fish in a couple of couple of weeks guys it's been like almost two weeks since I've had fish last so I'm excited to have fish and I really am. I wanted to talk to you guys about something because I don't know if people actually really notice it or anything but I know it's been a hot topic for a few people that who have children and I know it's been on Facebook and in the social media and all that kind of stuff and I want to talk about baby proofing. Now Frederick is 14 months old so he's at that age where everything is is interesting. Everything is like a toy for him. Baby proofing at this age, most people would normally have their whole house baby proofed. Us, we haven't done one little bit of baby proofing. Not that we don't agree with baby proofing or anything, but I just, we just don't see that it's necessary for us to baby proof our house. Now, a lot of people probably wouldn't agree with that because a lot of things can happen if you don't baby proof your house. But also a lot of things can come out of it that are good when not baby proofing your house. Basically the only thing that we have done to baby proof our house is that our knives are up on the bench which originally were before we had Frederick. And we've also put the scissors up into the first drawer but we'll have to be moving those soon because Frederick can actually get into this drawer now. And the only other thing I can think of that we've actually baby proofed is this gate. But actually this gate is nothing to do with Frederick. It's actually to do with Tiger to block him in this area of the house at night so he doesn't go in this area because he was prone to having accidents at the night. So this is why we put the gate here cause of Tiger. It was actually nothing to do with Frederick. And most of, most of the time that gate is open just because there's nothing in that area that he shouldn't be going into. There's a laundry and a toilet and a bathroom. Basically, he hardly ever goes to that side of the house because the gate is open and he knows if he wants to, he can. So if the gate was shut, he knows, oh, the gate is shut. Whenever that's open, I'm going to go in that area. But he's honestly not bothered by that area of the house. It's not that we are against baby proofing our house. We just want to teach Frederick that if he does something that he shouldn't be doing like getting the scissors or you know going into the toilet or whatever we will tell him no Frederick you're not meant to do this or you're not meant to have this instead of not letting him do those things and then trying to do them all the time and basically he does them he has done them a few times like he's gone into the toilet and grabbed the toilet paper and everything a couple of times but after you're telling him no after a few times, he's not interested in it whatsoever. So anyone who's going through that stage of maybe thinking about baby proofing their house, you don't always have to baby proof if you don't want to. We're not going to baby proof any more that we already have, even though we haven't baby proofed really our house at all. Um, and we're doing fine. Freddie is doing fine. <laughs> he's still alive, guys. We're outside now and Tiger wants to play. So Frederick's trying to play with him. But most of the time, Frederick just grabs his toy and just puts it behind there. And Tiger's all the way over here. <laughs> He's just like, no, this is our play. This is how we're playing. And Tiger will go get it and go take it back to Frederick. And they'll continue to do this for like an hour. Until Mummy comes into the picture and throws it for him. <laughs> Freddie loves it. He absolutely loves this time. Just saw in the cat enclosure that the cats have killed a mouse. Ugh, it's absolutely disgusting, but unfortunately it's a part of life, so I can't really stop it. At least they're not killing like pretty birds, they're killing robots. But on 
I know it's a topic, the sky today is absolutely stunning, absolutely stunning guys. I want to show you how pretty it is because it is so nice and also the sun is setting at the moment so it has like a nice colouring to the sky today. So the sun is setting over there tonight but look at these clouds, they're absolutely stunning tonight absolutely gorgeous look at the ones straight above us they're so pretty frederick what do you think what do you think of the pretty sky <laughs> why are you running so far you almost ran into the dog poo <laughs> that was so close mummy needs to clean up all that dog poo doesn't she i said birdie that birdie just there just like swooped down on us. <laughs> You're so excited today, Frederick. Well guys, we're actually going to get going. So I hope you all enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. I actually really enjoyed, I think I just stepped in shit. <laughs> I think I just, <laughs> I don't know if I did. Um, but yeah, I hope you really enjoyed today's vlog. I really enjoyed vlogging today. I'm feeling really happy lately, guys. And I just want to bring that on to our vlogs that I'm feeling really happy. And yeah, I'm just feeling really good. And I want to tell you all that I'm feeling really good. And I guess we'll see you guys all tomorrow. And also, we're going to try and do the schedule Monday to Friday. That's what we're going to try and do. So hopefully you all can agree with that schedule. But that's what I'm going to try and do and see how it goes. But it's going to be... Monday to Friday so that's what our schedule is going to be from now on fingers crossed it goes well but um yeah schedule Monday to Friday but yeah if you're not a subscribed already please click that subscribe button it will really help us out you can join our amazing family and we'll see you all tomorrow bye <laughs>